Hey, everybody, welcome, my little pretties, to another seventh edition 40K video. This time we're going to be talking about missions. Missions and objectives have changed drastically in seventh edition. Basically, they're trying to get rid of the game where you put together an army and you charge across the table and hope you roll all sixes, which I think covers about 90% of 40k games for those 10 percent players out there who enjoy tactics and challenges this is the game for you let's go to white dwarf and see what they have to say we're going to start with um tactical objectives throughout the book in 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 seventh edition you're going to hear the term tactical objectives popping up with a certain amount of frequency to quote what it says these are a feature of the new maelstrom of war missions uh in the eternal war missions both players have the same objective throughout the battle whereas in the maelstrom missions the parameters of the mission of the game can change turn by turn what the hell does that mean it means that instead of just rolling your game objectives on before the game starts you roll game objectives every turn it's going to be something like uh i don't know kill 10 models for example could be something you do in one turn if you do that you get a victory point or maybe wipe out three units and if you do that you'll get i don't know an extra four victory points these are what they're going to call maelstrom mission objectives let's keep going this is supposed to simulate high command changing the orders of your warriors receive throughout the battle having fought valiantly to seize a trench in the enemy deployment area you might find yourself tasked with eradicating enemy psychers seeking glory in close combat or battling your way across the corpse strewn ground to lay claim to an objective you score points for your achieved objectives at the end of each of your turns not only do these keep you on your toes in the middle of the game but they ensure that you have a fighting chance right up until the end of the battle i think this is going to be fantastic i think seventh edition 40k is going to be something we've never seen before it's going to be an entirely new remake of the game and i'm excited about that so for all the people who say that's bad no problem keep playing sixth edition hell if you don't like sixth edition play any edition you want i'm fairly certain games workshop is not going to show up at your door and say don't play rogue trader only play seventh edition so there really is no reason for anybody to be upset look at magic the gathering Magic the Gathering has legacy tournaments or anything like that. So do most games. So why do 40K players get their panties in a bunch whenever a new edition comes out? Play whatever makes you happy. Be a happy gamer. So let's go on. A few more details if you want to go about the new missions. There are six new missions in the warhammer 40,000 known as maelstrom of war missions designed to tax your tactical acumen with objectives that change throughout the battle and this is an interview on that so dan and jess were playing these new maelstrom missions and dan says one of the new additions to warhammer 40,000 is the tactical objectives used in maelstrom of war missions orders past uh, blah 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 you heard all of that before so let's see what they actually say okay turn one they give you an example 
Uh, tactical mission could be here we go I'm just gonna read them to you instead of what they say because that's 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 far more interesting let me make it bigger so I can actually see the little bastards okay so tactical mission number wow 33 there's gonna be a lot of these a vital objective has been identified in your vicinity you are ordered to hold it at any cost. What does that mean? Uh, it means you will score one victory point if you control an objective marker number three, specifically number three, at the end of your turn. This is called a uh, storm and defend mission. Secure objective number three. Here's another one. Supremacy. The enemy is attempting to establish a foothold in this region. Redouble your efforts to maintain control. This is mission number 45. Uh, score D3 victory points if you control at least two objective markers at the end. Oh, and at least twice as many objective markers as your opponent controls at the end of your turn. That is called a seize ground mission supremacy. Overwhelming firepower. A show of strength is required. Scour the enemy from the face of the battlefield with the new, with, ex with the use, sorry, of extreme firepower. Score one victory point if an enemy unit was completely destroyed during the shooting phase of your turn, if you completely destroyed three or more enemy units during the shooting phase of your turn, score D3. Oh, that's the D3. Score D3 victory points instead. So score one victory point if you score one. If you destroy three or more, score D3, which... Okay, there you go. That's called Purge Victory. Overwhelming Firepower, mission number 51. Hungry for Glory, another Purge type mission, number 54. You fight, not only for victory, but for honor as well. Let none dispute your skills on the field of battle. Score one victory point, if you issued a challenge during your turn, if you issued three or more challenges during your turn, score D3 victory points instead. Boom. Like I said, 40K is about to change. If you see my other video on army making, you're about to find out how they're going to change with unbound armies, which gets rid of army lists altogether. You combine that with Maelstrom missions like this, it's an entirely different game. I don't mean a variation on Rogue Trader, which is what it's been for the last six editions. I'm Five editions. I mean an entirely different game. And mark my words, you're going to see them try to introduce rarity of figures. What does that mean? That means, like in Heroclix or collectible card games, they're going to create special figures. That's why the push to go to plastic instead of metal, which are only, which are rare, which have their own point values and ability costs, which you can put in a Maelstrom type unbound army mission and have like a Heroclix game environment or a Mage Knight game environment. That's what I think is going to happen. Until then, enjoy the game, and I will see you next time. Be happy! Bye!